it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I hope you all are having a great day. I'm here to do my a happy mail piece for someone. I'm not going to tell you who because then they won't be surprised because they are a subscriber to my channel. And yeah, so I just, I figured it'll be somewhat of a surprise. They'll be able to see what they're getting. Uh, the process I used and yeah so I know you guys haven't seen me in a little while I've been rather busy I was in Kauai last week um, today's date is September 23rd it's a Wednesday um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this up this week so by the time you probably more than likely by the time you see this It'll be two weeks out from the time I got back from Kauai. Um, I went to celebrate my 30th wedding anniversary. And so, yeah, and it was a lot of fun. Just snorkeled every day, it was wonderful. So I'm gonna get started and I'll tell you a little bit more of my trip while I'm doing this. But anyways, I'm using the Americana by Deco Arts uh, acrylic paint. It's the Burgundy Wine and I'm using it on a I you don't even know what size this was I opened it up and I didn't even look at the size but I'm gonna say it's about an eight not eight like a five by seven perhaps or a four by eight maybe four by seven I don't know but anyhow um, so I painted that down ahead of time and then I let it dry and I did all the edges as well whoops no I didn't do all the edges look at that okay so I'll need to finish that off real quick and it's a good thing that these paints dry rather fast so I don't have to wait too long most craft paints do dry pretty fast so I'm not too worried about that and I have a whole new setup so um, I connected my camera and the arm that I have my camera uh, my camera on uh, I put it on a chair um, because I've been in a lot of pain since I got back from Kauai we went snorkeling every day which was wonderful for my body I've decided my body does like salt water it's the best thing for someone in chronic pain it helps with the, the inflammation we get throughout our body um, I've decided that California weather, the he dry heat is good if it's not with, I can't explain it, but anyways, to make the long story short, I need to be by the ocean. I've decided that part, but um, hubby has other plans for us to retire to Reno, Nevada sometime in the near future. Um, actually sparks Nevada it's a really nice town um, a lot of new homes going up there and it's in the desert so no allergies which would be great because um, yeah I had you have allergies seasonal allergies but I'll be closer to Lake Tahoe which is also a beautiful place to go and spend time at so I'm not quite sure how my body will react to that but we shall see won't we Anyhow, to, excuse my rambling, <laughs> um, I've taken some napkin that I got in some Happy Mail. Actually, not really Happy Mail. I, I, I always consider most of it Happy Mail because it does make me happy when I get mail, even from swaps. So these pretty napkins came in a swap um, from International Crafters. We did some um, pocket letters swaps. And so... Um, we're doing this so I decided I'm going to use this one on here and I'm gonna overlap it with this so we'll see how it works how it'll work but I'm gonna start with this so enjoy the process and I'm using the decoupage um, napkin uh, stuff except good oh you didn't glue shut at first I thought it was going to glue shut but it did a good thing okay so I'm going to go ahead and dip in here and add some to the canvas first 
see how that works. And then I'm going to add some to the back of the first napkin or serviette. But with the decoupage serviette, it really works well because it's a thinner um, consistency. And so you can kind of get in there and lightly with your fingers smooth out some of the wrinkles um, and get it to lay a little bit flatter. So that helps a lot with it. And also wetting your brush a little more helps with um, getting it down a little smoother as well. It's called a lot of experimenting with this product. Um, but it really works well with the, for the napkins. It really does. And I can't remember how much the regular price is for this, but it's really not that expensive. Um, so if you're interested in buying one of the, the product, you can get it online. On um, I'll post the link at the bottom. Um, but it really works really well. And I'm sorry if I'm saying um too much, guys. Brain Fibro brain doesn't always come up with the right words at the right time. That's the first part, see that? And it is gonna be a little wrinkly, but that's okay. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I'm back, so it's nice and dry. So I'm gonna take a stencil, and I'm going to take some DecoArt Dimensional Effects, and I'm going to go over it with a credit card, or a gift card, a little gift card. Let's see, that's not going to work how I want to do it. I guess I'm going to have to use a spatula or something. I'll use this. And catalyst. Oops. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so this is all nice and dry. It's been about a couple of days now since I've continued with this part, with this piece. And so I'm going to come in with some different colors and you'll see my process. So enjoy it. And I'm going to be using some Americana by DecoArt, the Bahama Blue craft paint.
right, I have to apologize. I forgot to turn the camera on. I was getting so involved and I stepped away to let things dry and I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I did add some black and white in these areas and a little bit of gray mixed in with my finger and added some highlights and areas and things. And yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to continue with the process, so enjoy. Okay, so I've got this folk art. It's a red metallic. Um, I don't have a red metallic in the deco arts, so I'm going to use this. Alright, so I'm back and I've let everything pretty much dry and now I'm going to go in and add some splatters. Okay. 
So, <clears throat> fitting out some titanium white, the Deco Arts Traditions Artist Acrylic Paints. I really like these paints. They're thick and they work rather well, and I like the size of the bottles. Okay, and this time I'm going to use my fancy schmancy fan brush instead of a toothbrush. And I may have to add a little bit of water to my brush because when you splatter, you got to thin out the water, the paint a little bit for it to splatter well. And that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the um, colors I used on the owl. splatters and that is it for this one so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that my friend who's receiving this will like it I'm not telling you who because it's going to be a surprise for that friend that person uh, watches my videos so he or she will be watching but have no idea who's going to be getting this so I hope to see you next time if you like Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I mean, not weekend, but rest of the week, and I shall see you next time. Toodles! Bye!